Hi foodies, welcome back. Today we're cooking some cherry scotch bonnet wings. Really nice and sweet and hot. That's how I love my wing sauces. You guys know that if you've been watching my channel for a while. So let's get into this sauce. So whenever I do this, I always customize. You have to remember guys, whoever you're cooking for, customize. So there are times when I'll use a lot of scotch bonnet and then there are times when I'll just use a little bit. So know your audience, right? Now I will be putting in the description box the standard recipe, all right? So in the video you might see me use a little less of something, but don't worry about that. Look at the standard recipe that I'm gonna leave in the description box for you. The reason I add the garlic and the ginger is just to give this a little more flavor because even though it's just um, it's a cherry scotch bonnet sauce or glaze, you still want to have a little um, more flavor to it. So the ginger adds flavor and some extra heat and then the garlic sauteed gives it that nice aroma and flavor. So when that's nice and aromatic, the kitchen's gonna smell so good. We're gonna go in with the cherry jam, all right? If you can only find cherry jelly, it's perfectly fine, whether it's the red cherry or black cherry, doesn't matter. Cherry jam or cherry jelly will work. The only difference is that with the jams, you'll get pieces of fruit, and with the jelly, there aren't, um, there aren't any pieces of fruit. So either way, you're good. remember we're dealing with uh, jam here right so it can evaporate really fast so what you can do is just watch that flame keep it low to medium and if you see like it's drying out too fast take it off the fire or just add a little more orange juice or a little bit of water to it and just keep stirring till it comes together again this sauce is so easy and yummy if you ask me how I came up with this recipe guys I think I was just walking outside or maybe I was even sitting down inside and I just thought you know what cherry and scotch bonnet would be really good together and I just um, jot down some notes and here we are today never be afraid to experiment guys look in that kitchen look in that fridge try new things once the sauce is done, set that aside and I have some wings that was already marinated. I will leave the info in the description box. I use some of my Jamaican hot pepper sauce, which is made from scotch bonnet peppers. So some of that is in the marinade. I'm not going to be dipping the wings in milk or egg today, just straight into that seasoned flour. If you want it to be extra flaky and crispy, no problem. You can dip it in some egg and some milk before the flour if you wish to. But I'm just doing a light coating today. So I'm going to be using my deep fryer and it's set to 350. Usually 350, 360 is fine and you can use a pan too if you want to.
all right now we're gonna put on our cherry scotch bonnet sauce or glaze whatever you want to call it let me tell you this thing is so yummy and it was so easy to make guys so so easy so just toss all of that together and you are good to go the wings were crunchy guys and then the sauce is nice and sticky perfect combination Would you look at that, guys? It is so good. Let me tell you. Try this and let me know if you love it. And remember, you can always adjust the amount of pepper if you're not a pepper fan. But honestly, it's really good with the cherry and the, the scotch bonnet. It tastes so good. So once you try this, let me know how you love it. And do some experimenting of your own. Try out other jams and jellies. You can easily customize this. But just remember to put lots of love in it when you make it. And remember that you're going to have that nice little sweet taste. But then the scotchy bonnet is going to kick in. It's so good, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave me a comment. Share with a friend. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.